defensive attack. What what do you expect out of the Bulls? How do you prepare for something that uh, you're not quite sure what you're going to get? Uh, you know, it's I mean, it's still football. Uh, we're still playing the same guys. Um, you know, coaches are going to do a great job scouting, and we're going to watch film and prepare the best that we can. With uh, front seven being a little inexperienced, more pressure on you guys in the back, do you feel? Uh, a little bit, just a lead. I think, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're a little inexperienced, but, I mean, they're great players. Um, you know, with Noah and uh, Mike leading in and, you know, Adolphus, I, we got have a lot of confidence in them that they'll get their job done. What do you know about Buffalo at this point? Uh, I mean, not too much. We, uh, you know, game week just started. Um, we watched a little bit of film on them so far. Um, we know that you know they have a good wide receiver in number 19, and uh, they like to you know like to throw the ball a little bit. Um, other than that, you know, that's pretty much it right now. They've kind of got three guys that can throw the ball because they have a quarterback that started the first few games last year and then the guy that finished up the season for him and then they throw that alley cat at you. Does that matter when you're scouting a team or is it so base at this time of year that it doesn't matter? Uh, I mean, only one person can play quarterback at one time. So, uh, you know, that helps out. But, uh, you know, I, I did. They, they do have the, you know, the number 17, I think he is, that uh, plays a little bit of that quarterback. So, you know, that's a, that's a problem. I can pose a problem, um, you know, being able to do different things. But, you know, coaches do a great job in preparing us for it. How much are you looking for just to see somebody else on the field besides Carlin Gray? Uh, that's exciting. That's the most exciting part. Uh, you know, we've been hitting each other going on for about three weeks now. And, you know, that's fun. But, you know, time to, you know, take it out on somebody else. CJ, who's the best tackler on this defense? Best tackler? Uh, I'd probably say Ron Tanner. Um, he's a pretty good uh, form tackler. He does a great job at that. Why doesn't he play more then? Uh, I'm not a coach. I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't. I can't tell you that. But hopefully, he does get a lot of playing time this year. You guys had some troubles early last season with tackling. You got, seemed to get fixed at the end. Do you think there's any chance you guys will have any issues with that early this season? Uh, hopefully not. We've been working on it a lot more than we did in the past. Um, and that's an important thing. Um, so, yeah, I hope, hope not. Obviously, uh, you know, the win is what you guys won. But beyond that, what do you? What do you hope to come out Saturday feeling like? What do you, what do you want to get out of this, uh, this first game um, as a defensive unit coming out of there? Uh, probably want to just leave a you know greater pressure on the world. Um, you know, hopefully we want to be one of the best defenses in the country. So you know, hopefully we can make strides towards that goal um, in this game. What do you think about the fact that you guys are going to be running a lot of six DB sets? It sounds like from talking to the coaches, um, a lot of speed out there, but. A lot of onus on the DBs to tackle well. What, what do you what do you think about that? Uh, you know, I, th I think it's I think it's awesome. Uh, it's the first time that we ever you know had that many DBs since I've been here, out in the field, and I love I love that I love that idea. You know, not a knock towards the linebackers or anybody else, but I love uh, you know having DBs out there. You know, uh, athletes out there, and like I said, we've been working on our tackling, so you know, hopefully that's not a problem. Talk about a guy like Pitt Brown. You, I know you came in with him. He hasn't he hasn't played much, but it sounds like he's finally going to get a chance to play a lot. The, the, you know, the coaches were saying uh, that's got to that's got to be nice to see a guy like that finally get a chance to play much, play a lot. Yeah, he uh, he works hard, man. He deserves it. Um, you know, unfortunately, he hasn't he hasn't had a lot of playing time, you know, till now. But uh, you know, he'll he'll make uh, the most out of it. What do you call that group when y'all are all out there? The swarm? Do y'all have a nickname yet? <laughs> nah, we ain't got a nickname yet. Like killer uh, bees or anything like that? Or uh, nah, uh, we'll leave that up to y'all to go uh, give us that nickname. <laughs> CJ, what tells you this defense is going to be better from the start than last year's was? Uh, I mean, what, 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 what gives you that kind of confidence? You guys are replacing eight starters at least in the first game. Um, I think it's just our fundamentals. Uh, our coaches have done a great job, you know, this camp working on just our fundamentals of tackling and maintaining leverage. You know, that was our biggest our biggest problem last year in the early season. I know, like, for example, a Cal game where the guy, you know, broke tackles and ran for, like, an 85-yard touchdown. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the big thing is, you know, missing tackles and keeping leverage. If we can, you know, have a guy leverage the ball at all times and allow 10 other guys to run and tackle the ball, we'll be all right. CJ, what's uh, uh, Jordan Hall like to tackle? Like, what, what kind of every down back do you think he'll be, at least for this first game? Uh... I, I mean, he's a great, he's a great back. Um, you know, he's you know short guy, low to the ground, so he's really shifty. But he also is very strong, so you know he packs a punch. So, I mean, it's you know you can, he can shake you or he can run you over. So you know that's pro that's a problem. 
TJ, no offense to Buffalo, they're still a MAC team. You guys are second ranked in the country. If it's seven nothing after the end of the first quarter, like it was last year, is it a feeling of disappointment on the sideline this Saturday? Uh, I mean, every every team, you know, we look at every team the same. Um, you know, you respect your opponent. Uh, you know, anybody can come out there and beat you. We have to go out there and you know improve what we are. Um, if it's seven nothing, you know, hopefully we just got to start. We got to start playing better. As you look at them on video, who concerns you about their offense? Uh, they got a quarterback that came on, played pretty well at the end of the year last year. Got a pretty good running back. Just talk about what they, what you see on their offense. Uh, you know, see guys out there that can make plays. Uh, the running back's pretty shifty. Um, their quarterback has a nice arm, and he has receivers that can go and make plays. So we'll have our hands full. CJ, uh, coach was talking about maybe Don Trey taking that opening kickoff back, and he said, you know, I'm sure it'll be fine. But he's seen guys hyperventilate. I mean, what is that? <laughs> Can you imagine for him, he's a pretty good player, I'm sure he's very confident and all that, but when you run out there the first time and you see all these people, and uh, what's that going to be like for him? Uh, what was it like for you? I mean, he, our, little, our situation is a little different. I, mean, I was a freshman, I was walking out there, but I mean, I was waving a towel. Um, <laughs> you know, he's going to be, he's gonna be uh, <laughs> have a pretty important role. Um, I don't know. I mean, the feeling's unexplainable. Um, you have to, you know, you have to experience to, to even, you know, get to feel what it's like. Uh, I don't know. The only thing I could tell him is just take a deep breath, and he's here for a reason. You know, he's out there. You know, we all have confidence in him that he can get the job done. So just relax. And Are you excited to see him against somebody else? I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, has he brought a little bit of a spark to clearly this preseason camp? Uh, Yeah, yeah. Um, you, know, he, you know, he's a – Good player, and he's doing his thing, and uh, yeah, it's it's great. I want to see everybody against another partner. He's received a lot of hype from the media, but it seems like the veterans have received him well. That's not always the case, maybe with the freshmen. Is that that's got to be a credit to him, maybe that just talk about maybe his personality. Is he humble? How's he handled yeah, the hype? Yeah, yeah, he's very he's very humble. Um, he accepts a lot of coaching, uh, and he works to get better. You know, he hasn't come up here with a big head. Um, he knows he's a freshman. He has a lot to learn, and he's willing to learn, which is the most important thing. Do you guys give him a hard time at all? So, I'm sorry. Do you guys give him a hard time at all about the hype, or do you ever in practice maybe want to take it to him a little bit because of all the hype or anything like that, or no. just have some fun with it? No, I mean, he's our teammate. Uh, Y'all keep giving him a hype, and uh, <laughs> hopefully he lives up to it, you know? CJ, you've got a good view of, of y'all's offense from where you are. What, what What is definitely going to be different about that group this year compared to a year ago? or? Definitely compared to this this time a year ago. Uh, I think just the biggest thing is that you know the quarterback uh, controlling it all is a great leader. Um, you know he's matured a lot from last year, and I think that you know him taking control of the offense and you know leading it will you know produce even even better numbers. CJ Ryan said right? last year said that he put a lot of pressure on himself early in camp, and it kind of reflected his play. He's kind of settled down now and more relaxed. Do you sense the change? Did you notice any of that stuff with him? Uh, nah. I mean, Ryan. You know, Ryan always out there flying around making plays. So, uh, yeah, I didn't notice anything. Uh, you know, he's still Ryan, number ten, making plays. CJ, do you think the captain vote today will be an easy vote or a hard vote? Uh, I have no idea. I mean, um, I don't know what the guys are thinking. Um, I don't know. How much would it mean to you if you were captain? If I was a captain, uh, it'd mean a lot. Uh, uh, you know, it'll be it'll be great to you know lead the team and um, walk out there and be a captain at the Ohio State University. CJ, thank you. Thanks, CJ. Appreciate it.